Fortnite takes to the skies in Air Royale. Final Fantasy XIV crosses its world streams again with a new crossover. Torchlight Frontiers reveals a new class for Close Alpha, and Smite's gearing up for an insane Double God release. What's up guys, James Blonde here with a weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of April 19th, 2019. Starting out the news this week, Gaijin Entertainment announced that Battlefield Engineer, a yearly event, is back for a limited time in War Thunder. In this event, players receive a battle-damaged I-180S fighter and can repair it back to full operational form. Players can restore as many fighters as they have time for and can trade them for other rare vehicles. Players who participate in battle can acquire new components and aircraft maintenance technician toolkits that will let them disassemble and reassemble the plane. More repair components can be unlocked simply by playing the game. This process can be sped up by purchasing the items on the Gaijin market as well. First place ranking players in the team at the end of each battle will receive extra aircraft maintenance technician toolkits, and in some cases, a coupon for unique camouflage. And all spare stuff can be traded with other players in the market. Seems like a fairly interesting event. Check it out before it's gone. And speaking of war games, Wargaming announced this week that World of Warships Legends early access period has begun. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players are both able to play as of the 16th, with support for English, Russian, Japanese, French, and German languages. This console version of the popular naval combat game isn't just a simple port, either. It was built from the ground up for consoles with HDR support and, later this year, full 4K resolution support for PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. In other console MMO news, Bless Unleashed has revealed another one of its classes, the Crusader. This is pretty much your typical paladin style tank with heavy armor and shield to store up their defenses as they go right into the thick of things to keep the heat off their allies. Since this is going to be an action MMO just like Bless Online, you're still going to have to dodge attacks, but at least you can do it in style. Not to be left out of the console updates, Warframe released the remastered edition of the open world Planes of Eidolon for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. The area received a complete graphical overhaul using technology created for the open world Fortuna update. Planes of Eidolon Remastered offers dynamic lighting, textures, and atmosphere, as well as completely resurfaced terrain for easier K-Drive action. There's also a new Grenier Menace, the Tusk Thumpers. Sounds kind of weird. And if you're on PlayStation 4, you'll have another MMO to look forward to soon, Caravan Stories. This free-to-play anime MMORPG comes from Japan, but it's finally coming over to North America. No word yet on whether or not it'll actually show up in Europe, uh, but the game features six playable races with their own storyline, hundreds of recruitable allies, open-world raids, and more. Keep an eye out for this one this coming July and at MMOS.com as news becomes available. Getting back to the PC news, familiar faces from the world of EOS have come to Final Fantasy XIV as the Final Fantasy XV collaboration begins. This event will last until May 27, 2019, and the event is titled A Nocturne for Heroes. Noctis Lucius Calium, I think that's how you say it, will bring the gorgeous Ragalia vehicle with him to Hydaelion, where he joins the Warrior of Light in battle. Battles against Magatek awaits, as well as the messenger itself, Gardua. The quest is available for all players who have reached level 50 and completed the main scenario quest, The Ultimate Weapon, by seeking the familiar journalist Ulda. Of course, the most important thing about this event is the rewards, which include a Noctis outfit, hairstyle, Final Fantasy XV music, and the first four-person mount in the game, the Regalia. This is also the first time a multi-person mount has been available for the general player base, so expect to see a crazy amount of cars driving around. Moving on to another fantasy MMO, A Tale of Earth and Sea will be the next expansion to Villagers and Heroes, and with it comes a new character class. Previous to the reveal of the expansion, Mad Otter Games released several chapters telling the tale of two sisters, Riona and Pen. The first chapter opens to the story of the two young twin sisters who are confined in the Grange, a rotting fortress prison filled with broken spirits. In this expansion, the Shaman class will be joining the playable classes and is heavily rooted in elemental magic. It's been a bit since we've heard anything from Villagers and Heroes, so it's kind of crazy to see an expansion like this out of the blue. Next up on the news train, Torchlight Frontiers revealed a new class this past week, 
the Railmaster. Now this one's brand new to the Torchlight series based off of one of the Railmasters from Torchlight 2 and it brings a whole new type of game mechanic to the game. These guys wield giant sledgehammers, which makes plenty of sense, but what really stands out is that they lay down tracks behind them to call in their own personal train. This train can bring in more DPS or utility as the Railmaster wants, and of course, it can also be visually customized as well. If you're in the close alpha, you'll be able to play the class starting on April 23rd. The rest of us will just have to wait. Need to get a breath of fresh air? It's time to fight for dominance of the skies in Fortnite. The Air Royale event has begun in Fortnite where players complete challenges in the new Air Royale Duos LTM. Completing these challenges will unlock four free wraps and there are also new items in the shop. The new items include the supersonic outfit, which comes with Gage. Gage is a new back bling that has your eliminations displayed on a counter. Crazy new stuff coming to Fortnite. I guess that's what it takes to stay on top. Coming back down to Earth, Smite has revealed the Sands and Skies patch details. This patch is going to be the release of two gods at once, not one, but two. Horus is coming as a warrior, and Set, finally, will be coming in as an assassin. And they're definitely going to shake things up on the battlefield. There's a bunch of other changes coming, so make sure you check out the link in the description below to read up on Jason's breakdown of all the major changes coming soon. But speaking of Smite, it looks like it's finally time that hi -Rez tried to tap into the mobile market with a mobile-only title announced this week called Smite Blitz. This game's going to have PvE and PvP modes and explore a new story with your favorite Smite gods. The game's already begun technical alpha on iOS and Android, so keep an eye out if mobile's your thing. And finally, Magic the Gathering's new expansion, War of Spark, is on its way to MTG Arena. A lot of the set has been spoiled, and Jason wrote up a nice piece highlighting some of the newest cards with the most potential over at MMWatch.com that you should definitely go and read, especially if you're a fan of our Top Deck Tutor instructional series. And if you are, it's a new Top Deck Tutor as well, so make sure to check out the Skewer the Critics build. But anyway, guys, that's about it for all the major news and announcements this week. For more information on the news topics, check the links in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter